What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama, tell your uncle Joe. We still all. Let's get right into that video, man. Let's get it. All right, a lot of you guys want to my reacting to this video, all right? We live dropped this video. Race or, I mean, not race or wavy. Lindasia went live, I guess, and she's talking about Ray and they break up and all of that stuff going on. But let's get into it, man. She's only live because I got on live first because she sat there and wanted to sit there and bash me on the internet and she enjoyed y'all doing the same shit. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't seen this live and I haven't seen Ray's live either. So comment down below and let me know if y'all want my reaction to Ray's live too. That's it. Like, and then, what is she saying? What? Because I, I can't see. She's blocked, boo. She been blocked. But see, me, it's not really bothering me for real, for real. Because you, first of all, let's clock this tea. She getting loud. When never had no beef, but we was not like talking. Why? Well, asked Ray. Turn it. Did she up. ask me? And Ray would say, yes, y'all supposed to got on my, my son. Ray would literally get up, get start getting dressed, and I'm going to have to ask her where she going. Girl, you have never asked me a motherfucking thing. You didn't have, have no respect for me. You don't have no respect for me. You don't have any respect for me. You are a liar. You expose your own ex for being an escort. You're the liar. Let's clock that tea. I mean, was the ex really an escort, though? Or was that a lie? I don't forgot, man. There's been so much drama with Ray and, you know, the little female she be dealing with. I don't even remember if that was true or not, you know. But if that was true, then that's not a lie. So how is she a liar? I want to see both sides. Though. I want to hear what she got to say. And I want uh, then I want to hear what Ray got to say. And then you talk about... All her friends said you are not good for her. Girl, what? When, when have your friends ever said that? Girl, first of all, your best friend is fucking with somebody that don't even claim her. Clock that T2. <laughs> don't tell me you're running a friend group, man. Damn, that's tough. Because the way Lindasia acting right now, the way she's switching up on you not right now, the way she has been doing this every time, first with Lando, then with Snoopy Doop, and now with whoever this is right here, like Deja, then on to the next one. If a woman is really into you, like I said, man, a woman is not going to be able to hop, skip, and jump and play hopscotch to the next nigga that quick, fam. She not. She going to be in despair. All right? She not going to be think thinking about the next nigga. Point blank, period. So like I said, man, like... You got to get some game about yourself. You just do. But anyway. Y'all bad for business. <laughs> Lil Nazi was selling that poom poom somebody said. Then on top of that, you talking about some, oh, um, my life been going down the hill since we, girl, what do you mean? Your life been going down the hill because you need to pack them fucking people orders up and stop having giveaways because you don't have nothing to give away. Shit up. Write that shit up. Deja, I'm not finna play with you right now because I'm trying to drink my water and I'm really finna spit my water all over the place dealing with you, girl. Uh, do that. <laughs> That's why your life been going down the hill. So stop <laughs> sitting here trying to blame me. Nah, she is wild. Right, it's the fucking she been a problem. And that's my fault for keep on going back to her dumb, delusional, stupid north. She's a narcissist. That girl is evil. She has mommy issues. She needs help. <laughs> that girl <laughs> needs help. Look, y'all both need help, man. Honestly, we all need help. Shit, we can all stand to have a fucking therapy session. You know, a, a couple of them hoes. You feel me? Some need them in a, on a more long-term basis than others, but all of us can you you know, I'm, I ain't perfect either. We all are working progress. We all under construction, you know, so I ain't judging, but shit, there's some people that need a lot more help. <clears throat> Corey SSG, um, there's a lot of people that need, you know, some help out here who ain't really going to get that help, but anyway. Hell, and if y'all don't see that shit, I don't know. What to tell y'all? This is a cycle. You need I was help. thinking it was my fucking internet. I guess it's her shit too. It's probably a little bit of my fucked up ass AT and T, and you know, probably since you know Deja's live in the car, the internet is probably like the reception is probably fucked up. Girl, you even told me you need to go to therapy, but you wanted me to go with you. I ain't going with you. I don't need it. You need. It. <laughs> we all need it, girl. 
She said you homeless. You need help. This is wild. I ain't surprised though. Breaking we up literally like left off good. We, I, I, we didn't go to the end. We left off good. We're good. But what happened? Her for money. That's really why you mad though. You really mad because of that. I'ma just say niggas need to keep their priorities in check, man. Buying chains and buying all this designer and doing this and doing that, but you gotta ask somebody for something is crazy to me. You better start selling some of the shit you got, fam. Why are you trying to keep up an image, you know? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep up with the Joneses and shit. Now I'm not speaking on her situation. I'm just talking about in general, man. Do not. Feel like you need to keep up with certain people. Do not feel like, oh, because I done seen this on Instagram or this person is posting this and posting that. You don't know if they living paycheck to paycheck. You don't know if they spending their last dollar on designer, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And asking other people and trying to mooch off other people, fam. Just to look like they doing something. Just to uphold an image, bro. It's not that serious, fam. It's not. <laughs> I promise you your rent is in somewhere to stay. A roof over your damn head is way more important than some designer and some chains and shit, bro. You know, and I'm talking about everybody. I'm not just talking about this situation right here. I'm talking about in general. Stop trying to catch up with other people. Stop trying to compare yourself to other people, man. Stay in your own fucking lane, man. Make sure you handle your priorities first. Be responsible, fam. You know, worry about all that other shit later on. Honestly, none of that shit has any value. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you might feel good for a day or you might just want approval or validation from other people. You get that and okay, yeah. I mean, if you really think about it, you're spending thousands of dollars to get validation from other people. Point blank, period. You know? And there's nothing wrong. I like designer too. I got designer, right? But at the same time, like, when it comes to bills or making dumbass purchases to try to keep up and try to look like something... I'm going to make sure my bills is paid first. Come on now. You got to be smart. That shit wild. Ain't no way I'm asking for somebody's money and I got to bust down chain. That's crazy, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way, dog. That's why you mad. That's what I'm saying. Stop pedestalizing and idolizing these people. You might think, oh, they got this and that. But what is their money really, really looking like? Their money probably still look funny. And a person who work at Walmart probably got better money management then a motherfucker who is out here just trying to keep up with the Joneses and look like they are somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Not trying to say work at Walmart. Not trying to say don't have nice things, but y'all know what I mean. Because I asked my money back. Have your shit together, bro. Because you literally told me to get the fuck. You don't want to do nothing. You, you don't want nothing to do with me. So you left me with no choice. Anytime you borrow money from me, right? And I have never borrowed money from you, so let's fuck that too, boo. Mm. Never. Mm. But hey, check this out. Anytime you borrow money from me, I have never... I have never like rushed for you to give it back to me. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? You give a motherfucker an inch, you take him out. And that's another thing, man. I don't loan money out no more, man. I don't do that. I don't loan money out no more, man. Straight up. Because it severs relationships. You know, it severs friendships and shit like that. If you don't give me my money, I'm going to feel some type of way, fam. I'm going to feel disrespected. There's no reason why I should hound you. Or I have to bring up the fact that, hey, man, you got that? Hey, man, like, when you gonna have that? Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? Do we need a payment plan? Whatever the case is, like, there's no reason for that. And then not to mention the motherfuckers who only want to reach out when they need something from you. When they need some money. You know? So it's just like, nah, bro. 
We're not doing that no more. Don't ask me for shit. If I want to do something for you, I'm going to do it off the strength of I, I intend on not getting it back. I'm giving it to you. But I don't loan money no more, man. I don't do that. Ever. But yes, I did this time. Why? Because you told me you don't want nothing to do with me, bitch. I got to get the fuck ASAP. Her eyes wide as a motherfucker, boy. <laughs> Maybe every piece of This is first of all, Kiraya put her hands on me first. Let's oh. talk that for Uh oh. Kia. K -k 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 -kia. And Ray, there, there is times me and Ray has put our hands on each other, but I best stop putting like actually physically fighting her. I best stop doing that. That's good. So let's talk that to too. Or maybe you can tell them how you have a warrant out for your arrest right now, bitch, for abusing me. Clock that to too. Oh Do my all God. of that. If you want to talk about it, let that shit out, baby. <laughs> let it out. You have a warrant out for your arrest. Uh, not a warrant, fam. Damn, come on, man. We ain't got to bring that shit out. Now they finna be knocking at the door and shit. You know what I'm saying? Why she vlogging and shit, man? Come on, bro. <laughs> you don't take care of me, bitch. I take care of my motherfucking self. Don't do that. Bitch, I really got it like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget, you, you have to get on my level mm. to even fuck with me, bitch. Mm. I wish I had some glasses but on. But you take so that shit on with the police. So you do anything motherfucking that bitch you're going to jail. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's not do that. Since you clocking everything else, clock how you got a warrant out for your arrest. That's crazy. Clock like that. That's crazy. Bitch, I take care of myself. We need receipts on that. They said you get the running rent money back. I do this or? shit by myself. No help, bitch. She said she paid for everything no in Vegas. Help. If she paid for everything in Vegas, then I mean, but I have that's the thing. Like it seemed like same seemed like I don't know, bro. Like I said, I want to hear both sides. But if she paid for everything in what the hell? If she paid for everything in Vegas, it's like you're paying for things that are not priorities, right? Make sure you handle your shit first. There's nothing square or lame about a nigga who is handling their business before trying to make it look good for the ground, right? Let's celebrate and clap for the people who are actually handling their finances correctly and being responsible with their money instead of trying to showboat, right, and compete with the next nigga for likes and validation. Let's clap it up for them people. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's nothing wrong with, with motherfucking, um, what you call it, flex, not flexing, but, you know, doing your thing and, you know, buying whatever you want and shit like that. You know, stun on them. You know, do your thing. You worked hard for it, stun on them. But make sure that you're stunning harder when it comes to your priorities. Everything else should be extra, right? You should not be sacrificing your priorities to, for an image, Right? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't you plenty of time. When you was in Dallas, can you send me two hundred fifty dollars? Can you send me twenty dollars? I'ma see in the back. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you please send me twenty six hundred dollars before my rent because my bank card is da 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 Great, that's bull. I ain't never had that twenty six hundred to begin with, bitch. What you talking about? Cause you got to me chargebacks. Go pack them orders. You you go do that. She is wild and out. Bro, what do you mean? Your life has been far down here since Saturday when you left from Dallas. Bro, is, that my, is, that, is that, that my internet is really acting like this, y'all? Let me try to go down to like, like fucking, we on 720p. Let me try to go down to 480. I think it's my internet to keep doing that stupid ass shit, bro. Like, damn, I'm just trying Instead to watch the live. Instead of going to Dallas, fucking out. That's what you should be. Damn. You should have your bitch ass in that motherfucker house and fuck got your, your shit, your life together.
the fuck? I am tired. I'm tired because this, and I wasn't going to say anything only because it's just like, I don't care to say anything. Like, we was really sad. We told each other. It was mutual. We told each other we was going to leave off as good notes, like, on good notes. Like, it wasn't going to be no ill. We told each other we just was not going to fuck around anymore. And that was cool with me. I was okay with that. I really was, y'all, because I'm tired. I am really tired. And that's my fault for keep on going back and keep on falling to her bullshit-ass trap. Because that's the thing. You even said it out your own mouth. Can't none of these hoes do what I do for you, babe. do anything to you i have never done nothing to you in our relationship yeah we have bumps in the road we put our hands on each other okay cool we did a lot of shit to each other you bust my windows out my bins we did a lot of shit to each other i Come whooped on, your ass man. we did a lot of shit to each other and that's okay but don't but since then girl i have never put my hands on you and you've been doing that shit lately On my son, that girl got a warrant out for her arrest, baby. Tell her get pulled over. She'll see. I ain't got to lie. But this is what she do, though. So, honestly, this today, we're going to wrap this shit up. Because this is my last time talking about this shit. All this death scratch, all these scratches and stuff on my neck, that's rape. That is rape. Bitch, I have nothing to lie for. That's you. But we gotta wrap shit up today, though, because I don't really do this. You know, she used to doing this. And she's a liar. She's a narcissist. She's all of that. Like, she literally, like, girl, you're all of that. You went to go tell your ex that my son have a development. Like, it's something really wrong with you. You have money issues, and you need to go seek fucking help. Matter of fact, girl, get the fuck out of Houston, because Houston is not for you. Give me your fucking card back, bitch, and go back to Cali. Go do that. And go, go, go live your life somewhere else. <laughs> Somebody said just don't delete the YouTube videos. I'll be rewatching those. And that's another thing. I have never, I didn't put a warrant out on Ray. I told them that I did not want to press charges. Them motherfucking people called me when I was in fucking Vegas and I told her. She called, they called me when I was in Vegas saying it don't have nothing to do with me now because I have camera footage of everything. And Ray did not open that door when I, there was six police at her house that day when she dragged me out the house. So let's talk about it. And now it's in their hands. So whatever they want to do to your ass, that's what they're going to do. Because this is your second time doing this shit. Let's not forget you just had a felony because you did the same shit, babe. A you, felony? You, you popped the police on me and got your ass sent to jail. How did that work? Mm. How did that work? This getting old facts. Y'all just don't need to be. You stupid. It's something wrong with her. But this is my last time talking about this This is what happened when a nigga ain't got no game, man. Nigga ain't got no game. You don't respect yourself. And you don't respect a woman. Her boundaries and shit like that. You don't know how to treat her because you don't know how to treat... Whoever just subscribed, I appreciate you. You don't know how to treat her because you don't even know how to treat yourself. You treat yourself... You treat her bad because you treat yourself bad. You feel me? This is what happens when you're a no game have an ass nigga fam. That's why I always say it. it is you got to get some game about yourself fam. You have to. Or situations like this will happen. You know, because at the end of the day, even though Ray is a woman, right, she still portrays the masculine energy. Like the, the, the woman or the femme or whatever the case is, the more feminine one is looking to you for your leadership. And so... If you're a weak ass, bitch ass nigga, she's going to follow suit, right? Because you're going to be doing a lot of weak ass shit and she's going to be following it. And it's going to end up in toxic situations, you know? Even if you're a terrible leader, you as the masculine energy of the relationship, she's going to follow your lead. So if she's acting like this or she did whatever she did, I'm not trying to say that Deja didn't have her faults either. But she's looking at you, right? She's looking at you for leadership. And if the leader is sinking the ship, she's sinking some shit too. 
You know, so at the end of the day, it all falls on the leader of the relationship, which happens to be the masculine one. In this situation right here, it don't seem like it was much masculinity in this relationship at all. But you know what I'm saying, man. You know, if your woman is acting out, you got to wonder why. You know, what did you do? What, what, what was the cause of this, right? And why are you still there? <laughs> Point blank period. Because I'm literally, oh, I like, I didn't reach my limit where I'm so over it. Girl, you could never talk to me again. I'm talking about, bitch, you couldn't even raise a pinky at me. Not raise a pinky. Once my movies come get my shit at your house, I won't even be there. You just, and tell, make sure she got my birth certificate and passport too, because she hiding it somewhere in that house. Ooh, so make sure she put that in my That's so doctor. crazy. I had a crazy bitch uh, uh, hold my motherfucking identity for uh, ransom too. Is it Ransom? Yeah, a whole my motherfucking shit hostage too, man. I had to play nice. I had to, you know what I'm saying, manipulate. I had to use my own manipulation tactics and shit just to get that motherfucker back. Act like we was good and everything. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, we good. You know what I'm saying? Let's do whatever. Just to get my shit back. Back when I was in toxic shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitch didn't try to hold my motherfucking identification for a ransom. For, hold, that, hold that shit hostage, bruh. That is not a good situation to be in at all, fam. Run for the motherfucking hills. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's some crazy shit holding somebody's identification. Wow, bro. But well, this it, this is a rap. Like I cannot do this shit no more. This shit is not healthy. And that's the thing, bitch. You drain me once and you not draining me again. And then that's another thing, girl. What are you are you mad about a picnic? What are you mad about? A picnic. What are you mad about? Was I mad when you was fucking Talia? It says she not my friend. Who that? Who Talia, yo? Yeah. Was I mad about that? I was. I was. I, I was mad. <laughs> And that's another thing, man. Like, there's nothing P. Once again, I'm going to say it over and over and over again. There's nothing P about cheating on your woman. If you want to do whatever the fuck you want to do, let that be known. Let your woman know, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with you. Whatever the case is, but look, you're not going to be the only woman that I'm fucking with. You're not going to be the only wo woman who I give my time to, who I, you know what I'm saying, this and that and the other. Keep it real. That's real peace shit. Real peace do not lie. Real peace are genuine. Real peace are authentic. Real peace know how to treat a woman, right? Because they love themselves, so they know how to love a woman, right? So, you know, all this cheating and thinking you cool for doing all this underhanded ass shit, this undercover ass shit, nigga, you're really lame as hell, corny as hell, and probably insecure as fuck, you know, just saying. I'm not speaking on Ray, I'm just saying in general, right, in general, man, that shit is corny as hell. And once again, if Deja went on a motherfucking date, she could do that, she's single. The fuck? <laughs> she's single. And that's the thing, I am single. She what told I just me say? that she did not want nothing to do with me. What I just so say? So whatever, if, if I want to go on a date with a bitch, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to talk to five, six, seven, eight, nine bitches, she can do that's that. what I'm going to do. Facts. I can do what I want to do. I she am She can do single. that. Facts. You told me that you didn't want nothing to do with me, so stand mm. on that, baby. Stand on it. Stand on it. Stand on it. Don't cry now. Stand on that shit. Stand on it. So I want you to stand on it, and I want you to have, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Because you really need it. Childish. Girl, leave them people alone. For real, for real, cause I'm. I'ma date who I date. I'ma talk to who I talk to. I am single. Facts. 
I am single. Do your thing. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. Y'all favorite person told me she didn't want anything to do with me. So how about she stop speaking on me? <laughs> I'm ready to see Ray live, man. I ain't gonna lie. Come on, Girl, man. she's out. Let, let me. I don't want to miss nothing something though. about Lando. Another thing about him. Okay. She's pressed. That nigga got money. Okay. He has money. But that's and not. But look, that's not even the thing, though. Like, a nigga can have more money than you, but look, does he have a slicker mouthpiece than you? Can he make him, can he Can he make her feel like you can make her feel, right? Can he build an emotional connection with her like you can, you know? That's why I'm saying game is so important, man. If you don't have game, it, like, you know how many rich niggas out here ain't got no game? And still getting cheated on by the UPS man who does have game. You know what I'm saying? It's just like people always want to make shit about money. But really, and they always want to say, like I said, that women are gold diggers. Yes, women don't mind the money. They'll take your money, especially if you ain't got no game because you ain't got nothing to trade. Right? What are you bringing to the table if you ain't got no mouth? If you can't make her feel a way, if you can't build that connection and make her want to take her panties off without even touching her. If you don't have that, that, that Midas touch, nigga. Then you're going to have to pay for something around this bitch because what do you have to bring to the table? What are you offering, nigga? You want my drawers, right? You want my panties. You want this and that for me. What you going to offer me? You can't even make me feel away. So, yeah, buy me nice dan dinners. Buy me nice things. Take me shopping. Take me on trips. You got to do all that extra shit when you ain't got no damn game, right? And I'm not saying that you can't do those nice things for women. But at the same time, it's like you got to earn that shit, Right? You're not just doing that off the strength of, oh, I want to get in her pants or, oh, I want to, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know how to, you don't know how to make her feel. You don't know how to build that con connection. You don't know how to be the vibe. You don't know how to be the experience. So you try to buy the experience and buy the woman. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't going to last forever, bro. Because there's always going to be the next nigga who has more than you, more money than you, more fame than you, more clout than you, whatever than you. But there's only going to be one of you. So if you have game... And it's coming from yourself. It's the authentic version of you. Nobody can replace you, no matter how much money they have. That's a little piece of game for y'all, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It ain't all about money, He bro. got money. Trust me. But hey, baby girl, how about his dick? Or go hop on him. Since you're so pressed about him. Girl, you had some people blowing up his baby mama, threatening and all that shit. What? That shit not cool. Nah, that's sucking shit. I ain't gonna lie. Me and that man ain't sucks since I don't know when. He said, clock it, sis, clock it. So Ray don't got no money. Man, a lot of these influencers is living like they work at Walmart, bruh. Just just the, the nice things version, right? Just because they have X amount of money. Okay, let me take an example right here. I'm going to break it down for you, all right? You got somebody that work at Walmart, right? Let's say she busts her ass, she do overtime, she one of the top people at the Walmart, right? She pushing carts. She fucking sweeping floors. She fucking bagging shit up. Do they even bag shit up anymore? I don't know. But she doing all of her Walmart duties, right? She making maybe like, mm, shit, 2K a month type shit, right? She making 2K a month working at Walmart, you know, whatever the case is, making her living, all right? You got this millionaire, right? This millionaire is making a million dollars a million dollars a month. Okay. No, I'm going to just say this millionaire is making 100K a month. Right? Okay. Let's see this. The woman at Walmart, she 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 responsible with her money and, and her finances, and she handles her priorities. So collectively, with all her bills paid, her rent, you know, her electricity and all of that shit, it come out to about seven hundred, right? Seven hundred dollars. So she got a free what thirteen hundred to play with or whatever the case is, right? After all of her uh, expenses are paid for. Now you got the millionaire, right? You got the millionaire the nigga making a hundred k. A month but the millionaire spends 100k a month too so <laughs> now after that 100k is spent because the millionaire gotta look like a millionaire right we gotta continue looking like a millionaire so you know what i'm saying the millionaire is still going through the same thing and it might look like he got all this money but it's because he's trying to keep up right and he's not living below his means if that makes sense he's living higher than his means all his money that's coming in he might be making 100k He's still 
spending a hundred k too to upkeep that lifestyle that he's trying to show the world, right? So now he calling Deborah like, "Hey Deborah, can I borrow twenty six hundred dollars for my rent?" Deborah like, "What? What do you mean? You make a hundred k a month? I know, but you know what I'm saying? Like my priorities is all fucked up and shit. So you know, I I gotta upkeep, you know, my hundred k going out." Because, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so, so, yeah, if you got $2,600 that you could just send me for my rent, I'm going right, to give it right back to you just like I didn't give it back to you the last couple months that I, you know, had borrowed that other shit from you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's just an example, y'all, that the Walmart worker could be way more at peace when it comes to their money, financially more responsible, right? Working at Walmart than somebody who's making hundred k a month. All right, so I had to break that shit down right quick. I never said she don't have money, but she got money. <laughs> but my thing is, if she got money, then why is she borrowing money from you? That's my question. That's not like a motherfucker who ain't got no money. It's nothing but jealousy and hate and Ray heart. Ray don't want to see nobody. No, uh, I think it's just insecurity, to be honest. You know, like... It's insecurity, you know? It could be hate and jealousy, too, but nine times, nine times out of ten, it's insecurity. I do good if it's not her, and it's weird. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but it is so weird to me. But see, me, I'm literally going to keep on living my life. As you I should. would never let... Y'all see how skinny I got is because of the, 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 the story. I would never allow myself to get down that low. Because, bitch, I have too much potential. I am beautiful, bitch, and I can have anybody I want. I am not looking for a relationship. I am, I've am. i been single for a year. I am not looking for anything. You literally dragged me through the mud, girl. You dragged me through the mud for two whole years. Two. Dos, dos X. And I, yeah, I was dumb enough to go back. Okay, I admit it. I can't, you know, da da da, but. It's plenty of times where I cook for Ray, so please tell her to shut the fuck up. She has mommy issues. And when people have mommy issues, their relations will never work, honestly. I mean, I'll agree with her, but then I disagree as well. Because some people can heal from the trauma, right? But it takes work on yourself. You do have to work out them issues within yourself. Because think about it, man. Like, there's a lot of things that may go through go through a person's mind who has mommy issues or maybe who was adopted. And it's just like, why didn't my mama want me? You know, like, why wasn't I good enough? Why, you know, like, why did I deserve this? Maybe I did deserve this. Maybe I am a shitty person, right? And these are all the things that you'll work out in therapy, you know? So... Um, yes and no. I do believe that, yeah, you'll have fucked up relationships and unhealthy, toxic relationships as long as you keep going and not healing and not addressing the root of the issue and pull that bitch out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but healing can take place. You know, healing can definitely take place and you can definitely be in healthy relationships again, but it's going to take a lot of work on yourself. I will say that. And then you keep talking about Lando as if your little skinny flat ass don't be sitting in his clubs, girl. Damn. You be sitting in his clubs. <laughs> Leave that man alone. Y'all harassing him. Y'all harassed. I said that she was acting funny when she was in Dallas. When I got, when all that shit happened, I did apologize for blocking him. I was like, okay, you know what? I, my, my bad, like. This, that, and third. But even when I told her why I didn't text her, she told me to bounce. Girl, you ain't gonna let me let me just go. You ain't gonna tell me to bounce so many times, bitch. I might hop around and run. Around town. I am grown. I can go to whatever club I want to go to. That man owns most clubs in Houston. Me and that man don't speak to each other. Half of the time, that man don't even be there. 
I ain't gotta be sneaky about a motherfucker thing. That whole sneaky. <laughs> Her life been going down the drain because of Ray. Not because of me. I have did nothing but help that girl. Anything that girl needed, I helped her. But if you mad about a billionaire day, day, I can take you on too. <laughs> That's tough. She said I can take you on one too. All right, man, come on, man. I'm trying to get a raise live, bro. I didn't want to go where with her. I need to go live together, facts, though. Just argue online. Fuck it. Let's hash it all out, man. Let's really see what's real. And then I said that he's talking about, oh, I want the friend of my DMs. Girl, Renisha. Go pack them orders, baby. That's all I'm going to say. What'd she say? Go pack them orders. Go pack them and leave me the fuck alone. Because I have not said nothing to you. And if you're mad about a picnic date, or you're mad about a person that I'm talking to, pick that shit up with God, girl. You told me to get the fucking idea. Right. And I have the stories and receipts, too. She know that. So if she want to go, then we can take it there, too. We can, we can go whichever way, whichever which way Ray want to go. Y'all y'all let me know which way she want to go, and we can really go there. Big time. It's just the fact that she said her life been going down the hill since she been with me. But Ray, your life just started going down the hill when your little ugly ass, I mean, cute, cute ass went to Dallas. You literally just went to Dallas and you said your order was going to be there Monday and they was never there. So that's why your life is going down the hill because you have orders back there from October, baby, October, November. Ain't no December, fucking way. January, mm -mm. It's been four months. Where them people shit at? Mm -mm. Ain't no that's fucking why, way. That's why your life is going bad, not because of me. And then on top of that, I even text her and I said, I even text her and I said, it's going to be okay. This is only a black, uh, what I said, a minor setback for a major comeback. Like, I told her that shit. But girl, don't try to make it seem like I'm the bad person because I didn't do nothing to you. You told me to go and I did that, girl. as fuck. I do what I want. As I can should. go to whoever club the fuck I want. As yeah, long as I'm not talking to them. Alright, man. Look. I'm finna be off this video. I done talked enough. We finna go react to Ray's, you know, little live and shit like that, man. So, make sure y'all let me know how you feel in the comment section down below, man. Y'all team Ray, y'all team Deja. I'm team God at this point because both of them needed it, you know, to try to get through whatever the fuck they got going on right now, man. I love you. Make sure that you like the video, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their angel mama, tell their uncle Joey still hard. We'll see you in the next video, man. I love y'all. Peace. Be out, baby.